Moonlight Nana. Hello everyone, I'm Moonlight Nana and this is my 8th Medibank Paint Pro tutorial video. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope it can help you start off your first step in your digital art journey. In the previous tutorial video, I explained about the fill tool uh, here and its function bar items. I also touch on the subject of adding new layer in the layer window. Okay, for this Medibank Paint Pro tutorial video, I will explain about the move tool and additional basic info of the layer window, which is how to move layer. Let's get started. As you can see on screen, these are the shapes I created to demonstrate the fill tool in the previous tutorial video. Each color is separated to different layers, as you can see in the layer window here. Now we will use these colorful shapes to demonstrate the move tool. The move tool is the sixth tool in the tools bar, which is this one. Okay, when we select the move tool, the cursor will turn into a crisscross arrow. Now let's try to move the drawings. When you want to move a certain drawing, make sure to select the layer that particular drawing is on. For example, I want to move the red shapes. Okay, so I will select the layer which these red shapes were drawn on. That will be layer 1 down here. Once I've selected its layer, then I can move the red shapes. To move the red shapes, simply click on any part of the canvas and hold it. Then drag the mouse to another point or place where you want the drawing to be moved. I can go up, down, left, right, and diagonally and anyhow that I, I'd like to move it. Okay? Once you've settled on a spot, release the mouse and the drawing will be in a new position. It's that simple. I can also move the drawing outside of the canvas if, uh, if I want to. Now, if a drawing is moved outside of the canvas, that doesn't mean that the drawing is erased or disappeared completely. It's still around, as you can see in the layer window over here. The drawing is just out of the canvas board or space and you can drag it back to view it any time. Now you may be wondering why is the red shape covered by the other colored shapes? Hmm? No matter where I move the red shapes it will always remain covered by the others. Okay. Now the reason is that the upper layers in the layer window are subjected to have the most viewing um, priority. In other words, whichever drawing that has the upper layer will cover the drawings at the lower layer. As you can see in this layer window, um, the red shape layer is at the bottom. Thus, all the other shapes above it will cover it. Okay. Now let's take a look at layer 3 over here, the green shapes. We select this layer and try to move the drawing. If I move the green over to the red and the blue, the green will cover the red and the blue. This is because the green layer is above the blue and the red layers. If I move the green over to the black and the yellow, the green will be covered by the black and yellow because the black and the yellow layers are above the green layer okay now let's try to uh, select the yellow layer by now you should be able to grasp the concept of the layers so then since the yellow layer is the topmost layer in the layer window what do you think will happen if I move it yes the yellow will be able to cover all of the other colors colored shapes as you can see in the um, screen. The concept is very easy to understand, right? Alright, maybe now you're thinking, but I want the red shapes to cover the other colored shapes. I don't want the red shape to be covered. Okay, from what we learned just now, in order for the red to cover the other colors or um, to to not be covered by the other colors and to cover other colors 
then its layer must be above the other colored colored layers okay so how do you do that easy just like using the move tool on the canvas you can do the same with the layers in the layer window simply click and hold on the layer you wish to move then drag it up to a position or level that you want and then you release so now this red shape is the topmost layer it can then cover all the other colored shapes on the screen uh, on the canvas as you can see uh, on screen okay you can also drag a layer down for example i'll drag this yellow layer down and now it is covered um, by the colors whose layer is above it like so okay if you want to change the position of a layer simply click uh, simply click click hold drag up or down and then release okay so far it's very easy to understand right now let's take a look at the function bar of the move tool which is up here now first off we have the select a layer at the click point item so what does this uh, so what this does is that it makes it easier for you to move the drawings without having to click on its layer first Remember just now I mentioned that in order to move a drawing you must first select its layer in the layer window Like for example, I want to uh, move the blue The blue shape So if I simply hover on the blue and click it to move It won't move Instead another colored which is the green is moved <clears throat> thus in order to move the blue i must first select the layer that the blue is on only then can i move the blue this way can be a hassle and especially when you've got many layers that's why this item uh, in the move tools function bar here is very handy and convenient when you tick on this item you can move any drawing simply by clicking on it like for example i want to move the red then i can just click the red and move and then i want to move the yellow then i can click the yellow and move it as uh, how i like it okay mm, now look here in the layer window currently this layer is selected which is the yellow one if i click and move another colored shape for example the black the selected layer will automatic automatically change to the layer uh, of the drawing we just clicked on okay so first it's black then if i click the green then it will automatically change its layer selection to this layer this is super convenient and not only to move drawings on the canvas but to identify its layer in the layer window especially when you've got hundreds of layer here in the uh, in the future the next item is the reset uh, this doesn't do anything so let's skip this one and next is the move horizontally or vertically item when you activate this item the drawings you move will only move in a straight horizontal or vertical direction as you can see on the screen the shape i'm moving will only go up uh, up down to the left ah to the left and to the right okay i cannot go diagonally or round and round now if i turn off this item only then can i freely move the shape okay so you use this move horizontally and vertically item when you want to ensure that the drawing is moved in precise and accurate points so there you have it the move tool its function bar and um, how to move layers in the layer window this tutorial video is simple and easy to understand uh, you should be able to apply and use the move tool in your digital art drawing process now 
okay so that's it for today thank you so much for watching this tutorial video of medibank paint pro please like this video and subscribe to moonlight nana channel or follow me on facebook together we help each other out in our art journey thank you and have a blessed day ahead everybody